Good morning and welcome to the demonstration of the Astrium Star uh, Airborne Data Service uh, Concept Demonstrator. This is a uh, representation of a 737 configuration that we use to assess the uh, functionality and to develop the algorithms and close out the final configuration for the interface that you'll see on the Airborne Data Service Ground Station. Presently we're cruising at uh, 25,000 feet uh, at about 180 knots. What we're going to do is to inject a uh, 25, sorry, 35 degree bank and you'll see the enunciation coming up on the screen demonstrating that there's been an exceedance of uh, maximum normal bank angle. Uh, it's 15 degrees, 20, 25, 30, and 35, and at this point, you get an enunciation that has taken place within the system on the aircraft. Data has now started to be transmitted from the aircraft, and you will see an alert come up shortly on the screen, which shows that we have a roll exceedance on the airplane. Paul will now uh, click on the individual data element for the alert and he now brings up the data set that was associated with this particular exceedance. The presentation here is geared towards the ground staff who will be notified of the, uh, of the incident on the aeroplane and uh, they have access to the information that can now be used to assess what's happened on the aircraft and more importantly, is it significant or is it something that we need to do with it? We have different uh, data sets available from a particular exceedance, but the data set that you see will always be related to the particular exceedance. You will not get any extra or extraneous information. Uh, additionally, we have a capability of being able to call up uh, the graphs that are associated with the data. You get a graphical representation of the information that's available and you'll then be able to browse the information to select particular parameters and see what values you have at each of these instances. Meanwhile, the aircraft continues on its way. There are no further alerts and there is no need for any additional interaction with the ground station. On the ground, the individuals looking after the aircraft, either flight operations or uh, fleet management, can assess what they've seen and using the graphics, uh, graphical presentation, will be able to see uh, visually what we're looking at on the aircraft. Here we are browsing the individual parameters on the aircraft to see what we have, what values are available to us, and what the ground staff can then assess whether or not this is a significant uh, event on the aircraft for which we have to do further uh, investigative work. On the production system, you have the ability to be able to uh, browse both current events and historical events based upon filtering that you define either interactively or preset. This gives you the ability to assess uh, individual aircraft or, for that matter, individual systems or components. Uh, and uh, on our further developments, we will allow you to do some data mining into the uh, maintenance records to see if there's any patterns that develop within the uh, elements or failures that you've seen on the aircraft in uh, previous uh, operations. All the uh, intellectual properties were put into the processing unit on the aircraft, the STAR G2 SSU. Uh, this gives you the ability to read at the minute eight data buses with the capability of throwing to as many more as you need. And if you can read the information on the aircraft, we can deliver it to you. The installation itself is uh, a 2 MCU unit, requires 50 watts, and the iridium antenna is an omnidirectional installation which is 8 ounces and really, uh, measures uh, 4 inches by 2 inches. The data from the aircraft is encrypted, uh, it is secure, it is delivered through iridium to a secure ground station which is run by Astrium. Uh, Astrium are bringing uh, four generations worth of uh, secure military SATCOM experience to this project, so your data integrity and quality is guaranteed. Certification of the box itself has been closed out this month. Uh, our STC packages are in the stages of being closed out with Transport Canada initially. And we're expecting that the first customer installations will be available by December of this year. And we're fully expecting to roll out the commercial service in uh, late Q1 next year. 
Our initial target market is basically uh, built around the, uh, the narrow bodies currently in service. Uh, the service that has been offered by Astrium Star basically allows us to uh, deliver to a customer a uh, turnkey operation for uh, fleet data management and uh, operational monitoring. Um, the functionality at the minute is uh, obviously focused upon uh, airborne data and data exceedances, but we fully intend to grow the service into any other functionality which we can efficiently deliver to airlines. The studies that we've done on this particular type of application uh, clearly show that there's a lot of efficiencies to be made in terms of fuel savings in particular, simply by understanding comprehensively where you're burning fuel and how it's uh, being used operationally. Um, Certainly there's a lot of uh, evidence, there's a big body of evidence out there at the minute that quite clearly shows uh, once you understand exactly where your fuel is being burnt, then it becomes uh, possible to, to improve your operational efficiencies to gain anywhere up to 4% in terms of fuel savings. A lot of the work that we're doing here at the minute uh, originated from uh, some studies that we uh, uh, launched after Air France 447. Um, looking at the, uh, the initial reports that came through, clearly communication of information was a big issue in terms of both locating the aircraft and identifying the fact that they had an accident on their hands. Um, this information being available quickly and efficiently allows you to actually uh, give a, a good estimate of the location of the aircraft uh, and also a pretty comprehensive idea about what actually happened in the final moments of the aircraft. It won't replace the black box on the aircraft. Digital flight data recorders will still be uh, mandated and required. But this information that you get from these type of systems will give you a much clearer picture about what happened, when and how.